Mumtaj Mahal. That wasn't her maiden name. And the title literally has a meaning. It means being, being the chosen one, being the highlight of the palace. It's an irony that it's her death paved the way for the construction of this beautiful tomb. And for whom it was built, she never saw it actually. Built in the 17th century by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his beloved wife Mumtaz Mahal, Taj Mahal is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. He had three wives, uh, but, the, but the other two wives, they are purely a part of the political alliances for the political benefits. So she was the only love affair, hearty alliance. That's why she was a favorite. After they got married, he bestowed a title upon her, conferred a title upon her of Mumtaj Mahal. The Taj Mahal has been in the eye of a political storm recently after reports surfaced that the state government has not included the World Heritage Site in its list of tourist draws in Uttar Pradesh. But political tug of war aside, what are the challenges facing the Taj? And are enough efforts being made to conserve the monument? We are here to find out. There are a lot of controversies regarding this monument, mostly created by the state government by not uh, projecting Taj properly. Taj is not symbol of our heritage and things like that has been said. What I feel is Taj is a monument of love, doesn't matter who made it, doesn't matter which uh, government has done what for it. It's in it, Taj in itself is such an attraction that people come by themselves. Even before the political controversy over the Taj began, footfall at the monument had dropped. The history, romance and beauty of the Taj alone do not seem to be enough to draw visitors to the monument anymore. I, I have looked after almost more than one million foreign tourists in my company. Uh, they all come with huge expectations and emotions. So many ladies cry there. So when they come, then when we have hawkers and bad roads, bad hygiene, bad toilets, bad gardens, it sort of uh, spoils their, uh, their enjoyment of the monument. Conservation efforts at the heritage site, though important, have sometimes been accused of temporarily impacting the beauty of the Taj. And more importantly, marring the photos that tourists take at the site for keepsake. To clean Taj, they are using mud packs. But uh, that process, they take so much of time. For minarets, they took nearly two years due to that. Taj doesn't look that attractive. Footfall of tourists decrease. What they should do is that they should uh, do the mud packing in off seasons, and uh, off season which is from uh, April to October, uh, September, during that time, and it should be done fast. Tourists, especially foreign tourists, who pay a hefty sum to experience the Taj, want their money's worth. But are they getting that? Modern day tourists, you see documentaries about Taj Mahal, you see documentaries about everything. So I think it kind of diminishes a bit from the experience. Every second someone's coming up to you saying, let me take you to Taj Mahal or let me take you to this restaurant. You're like, no, I just want to do this. Mm. You know, Having crowds and crowds of people can be a bit stressful, I guess. Mm. And it's such a serene and like peaceful place. To be here like on your own or with just maybe like a few people would be really special. But that's nothing, you know, that's the way modern tourism is. You know, you can't really help that. The immediate vicinity of the Taj has been beautified. 
with cobbled streets, filigreed stone columns covering the lights, and a historic looking facade to the shops. But just a few steps away are the chaos and congestion of the town, and the shrill cacophony of people trying to make a living off the tourists.